Shut up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, these niggas all sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. Wee. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG, just no Do care. anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. What's poppin' T-Squad? It's your girl Keisha and I am here with a brand new Spill the Tea video. So if you have been living under a rock this past weekend, then I am here to inform you that news broke out via People Magazine that ex-Real Housewives of Potomac star, current Love and Marriage DC star Monique Samuels had filed for divorce from her husband Chris Samuels of 10 years once people broke this story it was everywhere on every news outlet every blog every YouTube channel everybody and their mamas was talking about it all of you were tagging me in the articles DMing me it was just crazy and I'm so thankful that I did not waste my time getting on the internet immediately and doing a video on it because hours later um she went live well did a video debunking those rumors but let's rewind it back because this weekend in general Monique's name was just all over BravoCon for some strange reason, even though she wasn't there, or I don't know if she was there. There are some people were saying that she was there, then she wasn't there. Child, Monique's name was on these helpers' mouths, and like I said, she ain't even a housewife no more. So before we get to this whole divorce fiasco situation, take a look at this footage from BravoCon of Giselle shading Monique. Lo and behold, uh, Miss Monique Samuels comes down and she thought she was going to get on the red carpet and answer some questions and they asked her to her right on off the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> because she's no longer a housewife. She's no longer part of Potomac. She's I don't on know. radio. She's on a very popular radio station. And that did not get on the credibility. <laughs> Basically, Giselle was telling this story about how Monique allegedly tried to crash uh, the red carpet for BravoCon this weekend, but was rejected. My thing is, why would you even waste your time telling a story about Monique? Somebody that you don't know, I mean, that you don't like, you don't talk to. Why would you even give her, you know, the publicity? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is your time to shine. So why would you even, you of all people, waste your time talking about Monique? Because all you're doing is focusing more on her and putting the attention all on her and not on yourself. I do appreciate the fact that Ashley and Karen tried to stick up for Monique since she wasn't there to defend herself. And let's not pretend like Monique wasn't asked back to the show. You better hope her ass don't ever decide to come back. Giselle, why you sitting up there trying to talk? Uh, first of all, I can't wait to find out if this is true or not. Did she try to come to Bravo Con? Did she not try to come? I just find that odd that she would try to come and she wasn't invited. Like that don't seem like Monique style, but you just never know with folks nowadays. So I don't really put anything past anyone. So who knows as far as that's concerned. But the fact that Giselle was on stage talking about Monique and she talked about her at another point during BravoCon, but I couldn't find the footage. Then you have this footage that I'm about to show you all of uh, Ashley, you know, talking about the state of Monique's marriage. Take a look. And I'm I could have been anything. She could have been getting a new hairstyle. Well, as you heard, Andy asked how Monique was doing, and Ashley says she thinks that she and um, Chris are taking a break, coinciding with the news that dropped that they were getting a divorce. Well, midday, before the day was over on Sunday, 
Monique and Chris then dropped this video in response to all of the news. Just got back from hiking all day. It was beautiful in the Shenandoah. It's awesome. And y'all, Chris, what you got to say about this? Shot me leave. <laughs> They're saying that the news is false. They are still very much together. She's wearing her ring. They're laughing about it. She said that they were going to do a video tonight on her YouTube channel to, to discuss all of this. I'm wondering what the fuck is going on at this point. I have two thoughts. One of the thoughts is, did Monique and them put this information out there themselves to garner publicity uh, was this a publicity stunt? Did she put the bug in Ashley's ear? And that then translated and got around to the blogs and the magazines that they're getting a divorce. Or my main theory is, is that once again, I really do feel like Bravo um, and Carlos King's uh, Kingdom Reign Productions and own and Andy are all in cahoots with each other. It's too much of a coincidence that we have Martel Holt and Sheree Whitfield dating now all of a sudden, doing crossover promotions on each other's shows because she will be on this season of Love and Marriage, Huntsville. I keep on telling you guys she's going to be on the season finale episode. So we'll see Sheree on Love and Marriage, Huntsville. Then you'll see Martell on Real Housewives of Atlanta, which needs a breath of fresh air over there to help the ratings, okay? Then now you have... Giselle of all people at BravoCon discussing Monique. Why would you even give her any airtime, any energy, any of your breath? You don't even like her. So that was very odd to me. Then you had them talking about the state of Monique's marriage at BravoCon. It's just like this lady ain't even in the room, but she is the topic of discussion. You know what I'm saying? So it's giving me very much makes me feel like another cross promotion is going on here because all you're doing is garnering more attention over to Monique and Love and Marriage DC, which we all know for season two needs a boost because season one was good. But it needs to be great. You see what I'm saying? And I don't know. It just seems like these production companies are working with each other. These networks are working with each other to help each other as far as garnering publicity, garnering um, viewership. It's something very, very tricky going on here. And... I'm paying attention to all the moving chess pieces because this is just way, way too odd for me. Way too odd that these love and marriage franchise shows are and their stars are the topic of conversation at a competing network. Make it make sense. It doesn't make sense to me unless you're working with each other to help each other because that's the only thing that I can Compute in my head that makes any sense. Do you guys agree with me? Do you think that Bravo and OWN and Kingdom Rain Productions and Andy and whoever is the producers of uh, Real Housewives of Potomac and Atlanta are all working with each other to help each other out? Because this is just crazy to me. It's just it's just crazy. Um, as far as Monique and Chris are concerned, I can't wait to see what she has to say about everything that happened this weekend. Um, this is great publicity for season two of Love and Marriage DC. Um, do I believe there's any truth to the rumors or anything like that? Like, I don't know. I don't believe that there's any truth to it. I think that this was a publicity stunt. I honestly do. I think that this was something drummed up by the networks or something because none of it's making sense. I can't wait to see what she and her husband have to say um, when they do their video on their YouTube channel. But yeah, something about this is very, very, very murky for me. Very murky. But anywho, let's talk down below in the comment section, you guys. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.